Kansas City versus Buffalo. Kansas City minus three. Who do you got? Do you think Casey covers minus three? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think this is probably a tight game. I have a really hard time betting against Kansas City ever because it's Kansas City and I just don't like betting against them. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I would, I'm going to take Kansas City here. I, I, and it's not for the reason you think it is. It's because I think their defense is good um, and, and is opportunistic and is going to find a Josh Allen mistake and turn it into points and the game will just be over. Also, the Kansas City's defense or sorry, Kansas City's offense has been really inefficient in the red zone this year. Um, And so. Like as soon as they put that together and start like figuring the red zone out with Kelsey and Tyree kill and I don't know, it's just. It's Kansas City all day for me. It just has to be. Um, do you think that the potential return of Clyde Edwards Alaire might help? Uh, he's missed the last several games with a hip and ankle injury, uh, did not play against the Browns. Um, maybe, but Daryl Williams actually looked more than serviceable um, on Sunday. Here, here's the, what I was looking for. Um, the Chiefs have not covered a spread in nine weeks and they Woof. have the third worst red zone offense. Um, as far as converting from a touchdown percentage, that's not good. Honestly, I think it's the offensive line, right? Because all season they haven't been able to push anything into the end zone. And all you heard about was how inefficient Clyde Edwards Alaire was. And that's why they brought Lev Bell in. It's like they're using gadget plays to get into the end zone in the red zone because they can't move the pile. And so it's just something that they've struggled with all year. They could use some offensive linemen this offseason. Not going to help them in this game, obviously. But yeah, I'm just not surprised by those numbers. Well, having watched them all season. Right. And so going in, you know, before the Cleveland game, where obviously Mahomes got knocked out or got his neck twisted weird, it didn't really look like a concussion. Um, I, I know he literally couldn't stand up. But I mean, going into this week, Mahomes had never scored less than 30 points in a playoff game like this was the first week and it's only because he didn't finish the game like they probably would have gotten to 30 points if he plays that whole game um and every win prior to this week was by 11 or more points including the super bowl last year where they were down in the fourth quarter and he just was like all right we're winning this game um josh allen's really good i love the bills offense i think they can score their biggest issue is they don't have a running game that that's going to kill them in this game because I, I don't believe Zach. I think Zach Moss is still hurt and not playing. Devin Singletary is not good. They, I think they literally ran two running plays in the first half this past week. They ran two running plays. They just, they threw the ball every play. Like if you're going to do that, you're not going to be Kansas city. You're just not. Yeah, I mean, the Bills basically abandoned the run until the fourth quarter when the game was basically over. Uh, Singletary only rushed seven times for 25 yards in the game against the Ravens, Um, which is going to lead me to my first prop bet. Although before we get there, I 100% disagree with you about this game. Okay. I think Buffalo takes it. Not just okay. covers. I think Buffalo wins. Okay. Uh, and I think that they win in a very convincing manner. I will take Packers and Buffalo to the Super Bowl. And for me, honestly, it's I think at this point, it's mostly health related. I don't think Mahomes is healthy. I don't think Clyde Edwards Alaire is healthy. Uh, I don't think that they're obviously, you know, good at converting in the red zone. Um, We've talked about how inefficient they've been um, and how they haven't been able to uh, cover the spread in e- any of the last, what, nine weeks, you said? Nine weeks, yeah. And the spread's only three. So if you don't cover three, you could lose very easily. Probably going to lose. So I'm going to take Josh Allen. He's looked absolutely incredible, him and Stefan Diggs. 
Uh, not only that, I'm going to take him over 300 passing yards, which is minus 112 right now. Uh, last week against Baltimore, had 37 pass attempts and only ran 55 plays for 220 yards of offense. It was a windstorm. I'm kind of giving it a one-off against one of the league's best defenses. Um, I think that Kansas City is not one of the league's best defenses. I think Josh Allen is extremely good, as is Stephon Diggs, who has a higher yardage total. It's in the 90s, but I wouldn't be surprised if that hit on the over anyway. Um, The guy is incredible. Their chemistry is incredible. Um, I, I like the Bills to win this game, not only cover, but to win. Okay. I mean, I could see it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I have a part. I was able to get a parlay in when the blind was still moving around. Uh, I have Kansas City minus two and a half, uh, and the over at fifty two and a half, and currently the lines minus three, and the over under is fifty four. So I, I, I got in while the getting was good on that um, on Sunday. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see Buffalo win. It kind of feels like it's their year, um, but at the same yeah. time, I, I, it's. I just can't see anybody beating the Packers um, just because of, of Rogers um, to, to your point about Stefan Diggs, um, I, I love him this week. I, I, you know, you can probably guess, but it's really fun to bet on the best players because in the playoffs, they get even more targets and more yardage and right. more opportunities because oh, yeah. if when in doubt, you're going to run your best plays. You're not hiding anything. Everybody knows what everybody's doing and you're in your best plays to get the best players, the ball. And so Stefan Diggs, uh, his yardage is 94 and a half yards. Um, yep. I'm taking the over. He's done it seven out of 16 games during the regular season. Um, has done it, uh, both weeks. Well, he definitely did it the first week. I don't know if he got there last week. Um, no, yeah, he did. He was over hundred yards last week. Um, so yeah, he, he's done it both weeks in the playoffs. Um, so it's what nine of uh, nine of eighteen. So yeah, I I think that they're going to force feed him the ball. They design plays to get him open. Um, so over ninety four and a half yards, his catches is seven and a half catches. Um, I'll take the over on that as well. During the regular season, he did that nine out of sixteen games, and I Jeez. again I believe he. He did it. Um, he definitely did it week uh, the first week of the playoffs. I don't believe he got to seven and a half catches or eight catches last week. He might have. Um, but yeah, Stefan Diggs, he is their playmaker on offense. Um, yeah, Cole Beasley's there. But again, they don't run the ball that much. If They're going to throw in this game because they're not going to run it and they're going to get it to Stefan Diggs. So yeah, oh, eight. Eight catches, 95 yards as a winner. That's a, that seems easy to me. So I'm, I'm betting both of those. Absolutely. Uh, I, I don't disagree with any of those. I like all of them. I would throw in, uh, I think John Brown has an over under of like 50 yards that I kind of want to, you know, evaluate putting a little bit of something on. Uh, I think that one's appealing to me because I mean, that's like, that's like, 30 of it is just normal game flow. Plus like, I don't know, does John Brown get loose for a long one? Like one time. And that's, you know, then you hit. Look at you trying to, trying to take your shot here and play Bear Stradamus. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I, I think it's possible. Um, they, but you know, Beasley's there. Um, they have a, they have a fourth wide receiver that was super Gabriel active Davis, who's uh, against phenomenal. The, the first week. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good. Um, so, yeah, it's it's possible, but they'll probably run a lot of four wide receiver sets, right? It's not like they have a good tight end. If Buffalo had a good tight end, holy crap, um, <laughs> that offense would really unlock itself, right? If you yeah. if you could put like a like a Mark Andrews or um, you know a Waller type player in that offense, oh my god, with with Diggs. That'd oh. be fun light it up so yeah I, I see them probably running a lot of four wide receiver sets uh shotgunning uh the majority of the game and just letting Allen wing it downfield um and so for that i i would take the over in the game because they both teams like to take their deep shots and scheme guys open downfield and they're in josh allen with a flick of a wrist and seemingly throw the ball 50 yards oh, um, without even winding up so 
if if the weather's okay in this game, uh, I'm I would I'm not going to bet the under with these two high powered offenses. Are there any Chiefs props that you like? You betcha, man. I've been riding the Travis Kelsey train all year. Um, his catches are also seven and a half. Um, very similar to Diggs, and and I don't think it, I'm. I think we're both. I think everybody's assuming that Mahomes plays, but even if he doesn't play, like Chad Henney was getting the ball to Kelsey at the end of that game. Um, you know, Tyreek is streaking across the field and straight down the field and running posts and and getting. You know, he's the guy that everybody's paying attention to, and Kelsey, you just can't do anything with him. So seven and a half catches. He did in nine of fifteen games this year. Uh, I like the over. I can see him having eight catches. His yardage exactly the same as Stephon Diggs is ninety four and a half yards. Um, he did it in seven of fifteen games this year. Uh, so I'm taking the over on that as well. Um, him and Diggs, um, I just can see having very similar stat lines: eight catches, ninety five plus yards. I'm I'm doing that. Thoughts on that? Um, I like Tyreek Hill under 79 and a half receiving yards. Hard disagree. (laughs) (laughs) Very hard. Very hard disagree. Um, he only hit 80 or more passing yards during the regular season in six games and usually against bad defenses. True. The Jets, Las Vegas, Tampa Bay, who are 29th, 25th, and 21st in opponent passing yards per game. Okay. Like, when they played each other in week six, he had three catches for 20 yards. That that was the okay. one. So Tyreek. That was also the game. That was also the game that it was played on what, like a Tuesday afternoon or a Monday afternoon. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire had like 25 carries for 180 yards. They were just like bulldozing them down, up and down the field. Uh, and the Bills couldn't do anything, right? I mean, it, it was just a weird game that they were just like, we're giving the ball to Clyde Edwards Alaire every play. It was super strange. Clyde Edwards Alaire in week six. Uh, 26 rushing attempts, 161 yards. So there you go. Yeah, it was strange. That was the only time they did that all year. Besides um, week one. Right, besides season. week one, and then and then, and then they picked up Love Bell, and he, he didn't do anything the rest of the year. Yeah, so um, I I think that they go back to I, I love the Tyreek Hill over seventy seven and a half yards uh, receiving. I love his over catches at five and a half um, because he's going to get those gadget catches where they just like. He runs by Mahomes and he like shovels it to him. He's going to get at least one of those. So really, you only need five more catches to hit the over there. And of all the players in the NFL right now, it just feels like Tyreek is just due for one of those like 70 yard touchdown plays. I'm just saying it. He has been held in check for so long that It's Jason, it's like when you haven't made love for a while and you have all this pent up frustration, it's going to come exploding out for him. Tyreek Hill makes you think about that. He does. He's really doing it for you. Yeah. Well, you know who does it for me? I mean. Tredavious White. One of the league's top shutdown cornerbacks. Tredavious White. I'm just saying, you cannot ignore that line. Three for 20 in week six. Tredavious White is a man. He's going to be all over Tyreek Hill the entire game. I hope to God that Clyde Edwards Alaire is healthy because they will need him to run the ball. And I, he needs to have the exact same line he had in week six. I think, I don't know. 
I mean, I'm really interested to see how this Mahomes, turns out, man. He's gonna rage. I, I just if he can't, can see. Can't see me, John Cena <laughs> out there. Um, I think that, like, I can never, I will never bet against Mahomes. I will never bet the under. If if you bet the under on Tyreek. 77 and a half yards and he has a 50 yard catch you're just gonna feel stupid don't don't do that to yourself just saying just don't do it i'm just saying uh maybe a little bonus five and a half catches is plus 120 i mean six catches against tradavius white i don't, I don't know he's gonna be bracketed on him the whole game it's going to be can't the bracket him. You can't bracket him and stop Kelsey and stop the running game. It's Kelsey in a running Mahomes. game. Like it's not a Tyreek Hill game in my mind. Okay. I, I don't know. That's, I that's, will. I will just, I, I will put it on our board bet list. 80 yards. Seven. 77 and a half yards for Tyreek. Oh, it's it's you, 79 and a half right now. Give me those two yards of respect. I have 77 and a half on, on DraftKings. I have 79 and a half on Vegas Insider. Which well, is all wrong. of the various... That's not up to date. All of the various sport <laughs> books. Fine. I'll, I'll give you 79 and a half. I'll still That's take right. the over. Whatever. That's right. I know you will. When he catches that 50-yard pass, I'm going to hear about it. You certainly will. <laughs> All right, in the comments down below, please let us know who do you think is going to win this Tyree Kill prop bet? Do you think he hits 80 yards? Let us know. Because uh, we don't agree. Boom, me. I think Tredavious White is a uh, man. A couple... <laughs> he is. He's not 40, though. Uh, 